Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you something that's actually rather cool. It's one of the new features in Warlords of Draenor that comes from the garrison. While the garrison itself isn't interesting, I think that at least some of the buildings actually do provide a decent amount of gameplay, which is certainly something that I am very happy to see. Now, today's video is going to be about the barn. So what's the description? It says here, the barn houses captured creatures that provide the garrison with leather, meat, and fur. This is currently level two barn. However, the level three one does not appear to be accessible in the Warlords of Draenor beta. So maybe in the future, we'll revisit this if there's anything crazy going on with level three. But anyway, at level 1, it allows you to capture cleft hoofs, elix, wolves, talbooks, I should probably just turn my audio on, whoops, and a few things like that. Now, their leather and fur is used for leather working and tailoring recipes. And then the level 2 one allows you to capture boars and um, river beasts for rare meat, which can create some really cool food. And then finally, now this is pretty cool, some elite beasts can be harvested for savage blood, which is used by blacksmiths to craft weapons and armor and things like that. Epic things. So basically this is going to help you get some epic items and I'd imagine that the things you get from your barn will be sellable in the auction house. So perhaps even if you, it's kind of cool actually, maybe, you know, even if you're not trying to be a big crafter, you could at least have your barn and you could be a bit of a hunter, you know, going out trapping animals and getting their, getting their stuff. How are you? So this is what the barn looks like. I'll just give you a quick little exterior tour. Don't worry, we'll be heading into the ground soon enough to have a look at the actual gameplay, but there you go, it's a barn. It's cool enough, I suppose. I think we're probably more interested in the gameplay rather than the looks, though. So let's talk to this guy. And now I already know about all this trapping stuff, so I'll explain that to you in a bit. But basically this quest wants us to use this iron trap thingy to grab either a cleft tooth, a talbuk, or a meadow stomper. So we're going to go and do that. That's going to give us 100 garrison resources. Of course, to make it so that this is not an infinitely long video, I'm going to do some editing hijinks so I can get to Nagrand just a little bit faster. Okay, so I'm finding the ground, and it's time to check out this trap. So the trap itself will basically be placed on the ground, and it will capture a wounded adult-like um, beast. So if you kill a cleft tooth, you get leather, a talbot gives you a fur, and an elec gives you some meat. Now, this only works on creatures who are above level 99, so basically, it has to be the ground stuff. Hang on a second. Wait, no, sorry, it doesn't work on creatures above level 99. I think this level 100 version, because most of the stuff here is in the ground. Anyway, let's uh, quit our jibber-jabber and get this guy to be weak. I probably should, you know, get my pet out. That would be a good idea. <laughs> now, I probably don't have to, like, drop the thing and then fight him on top of it until it captures him, but... Whatever. Okay, it should work soon enough. Yeah, there we go. Beast trapped. I'll probably try to not kill it now. Okay, and it says here shipment started, interestingly, and yeah, these guys appear. How are you? Interesting. And then the whole thing despawns. Looking for something specific? Well, there you go. I'm going to head back to the garrison and see what's going on there now that the quest is done. Okay then, so we are back at the barn. Time to see what the hell's going on here. Um, well that's strange. Apparently not that much. The quest giver has fucked off. Huh. Oh wait, look, there's like a little, um, this little thing up there. Right, let's have a look at the quest log and see just what the balls is going on. Why is she talking about Ironforge? This is not like a little piece of Ironforge. Oh, there he is, there he is. Hello, supervisor person. Something? All right, so we got some uh, garrison goods. Okay, bigger traps, better rewards. So use the improved trap to capture an ancient leather height, Bree Strider Stallion, or Territorial Meadow Stomper. See you around. All right, well, that sounds like a pretty cool thing to do. I'm assuming this is still going to mean a grand content. And the answer is yes, it is. So let's go and do some trapping. All right, so I accidentally ran into one of these uh, stallion dudes. So yeah, let's... Let's go kill it. We've got our improved iron trap, which honestly I don't even need to use right now, but for the sake of ease, we're going to use it. 
And, uh, yeah, once again, I've actually forgotten to have my pet out. Because I like looking good for the camera, right? Okay, whoa, let's not kill it. Actually, interesting, it... Yeah, you can kill it afterwards, and it, like, just doesn't matter. Okay, I like the way that instantly leaves combat so that you can't accidentally kill the thing you're trying to trap. It's always kind of frustrating in some quests when... You know, it's like, use the arcane MacGuffin on the creature when it's got under 20% health, and then you get a crit, and it's dead. That stuff sucks, so it's nice that that doesn't really happen. Anyway, time to head back to the garrison. Okay then, time to hand this quest in. It's a bit weird the way this guy, like, only seems to appear after you've stood around in here for a minute. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, actually, I can't even remember what the NPC's name was. It may be this guy, and he's just like... You know, technically busy, as far as the game is concerned, so he won't give me the quest while he's dicking around with the hay. Huh. How very bizarre. Oh, wait, no, there he is. Oh, this guy just seems to go on long walks. Well, whatever. Whatever he wants. See you later. So, quest done, and... Huh, there you go, that appears to be it. The grill master has got nothing to say. He's got nothing to say. That is essentially what we'd expect it is. But what did happen is it talked about a work order. And, uh, ah yes, here we go. So we've completed one of our three barn work orders, and apparently the next one is in, what, 24 hours and, some, and 46 minutes? Hmm, I'm going to do some more investigating and see what's going on. I'll probably cut back in 24 hours to see what the reward from this is. Actually, yeah, so just to clear it up, the way this works is you go out, you trap a beast, you can trap up to three a day with the level two, um, barn but that will increase with the level 3 one and after 24 hours the kind of lore of it is that you trap the creature and then the guys from the barn and um, take it back and they butcher it and in 24 hours you get your meat fur and and leather so that's a pretty cool feature okay so i've waited for actually about two days now i kind of forgot about this and the work orders are actually complete. You can see here, um, these are my buildings that are capable of having work orders, as it would appear. And it says here, barn three work orders, and um, they're ready for pickup. Unfortunately, though, I do not see any way to pick these up. I've talked to all the NPCs. I've been running around in circles in here. Um, basically, nothing I can do. Now, what I do know is that the furs and leathers can be used for tailoring and... Um, and leather working, and then the meat that you get can be given to Mass Stonefield, by the way, you know, repping the Stonefields 2014, yo. You may remember them from the human sort of starting few zones. But anyway, you can give the, like, the, the food to her and she'll grill it up and turn it into something tasty, which will probably give you some form of nice stat buff. Anyway, that's about that. Um, yeah, just another cool little garrison building. I know this is a short enough little video, but I actually think it's a really cool feature. I just like the idea of being able to head out to the ground and capture some beasts. Perhaps they could even have some maybe rare spawn things that would give you a special reward if you were able to trap them. And perhaps they could maybe add to this hunting gameplay later on and make it so there's more than just the trap. Overall, lots of potential, but even if they were just to keep it the way it is now, I'd say it's a pretty cool little system. That's it for this video, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.